<laughs> You're a little too confident, Juniper. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, you have it now, boy. See? Oh, look at that, Juniper. You want that, don't you? I Get bet it. you want that. Get it. Oh, you want. Oh, you could have got it. Good morning and welcome back. We're working on the barn today. We're working today. Yep. Work working. Yep. It's. You can't tell, but that's blue sky. That's about to happen very soon. It's going to be a beautiful day and. We are really looking forward to uh, what we're going to be doing today because it's going to... We're going up. We're, we're going up. We're going up with the framing of the barn. And uh, it's just going to be really cool to see that sort of transformation and noticeable progress. So mm -hmm. uh, we are going to bring over the 4x4 beams that Greg milled a couple weeks ago. And uh, we're going to be doing some shoshugi bonding before Good. we put them in the ground. Good pronunciation. <laughs> and yeah, well, let's just get going. Hey, boy. Hi, Mills. No idea what I'm doing, but we're going for it. Do I have to do the handle?
Well, it's time for your dose of sketchiness today. Here we have a tractor on a hill with its battery hooked up to a jumper cable to a shovel, I mean a, uh, a rake to this to hold those apart all the way over to this sketchy thing that I found on the side of the road. It's a piece of junk, but I think it's gonna work. <laughs> that post is too long.
never really been that drawn to or interested in doing shoshugiban for anything on our house. So that was actually a pretty enjoyable task. It smelled quite nice, the, the wood, and it is cozy and warm task for a cool spring morning. <laughs> so I think that actually went pretty well and hopefully it's burnt enough to protect the wood in the ground. Um, but I guess we'll find that out in a few years, won't we? <laughs> I'm not sure if we have uh, described the barn layout that we're doing. It is going to be 18 feet long and 8 feet deep and, or sorry, 16 feet deep. We're going to have 8 feet of that is going to be like an interior super secure area where the animals will go at night and then the other eight will be a covered area for outside and we'll probably have some sort of way to 
close it in in the winter when it is cold so that they have some kind of sheltered outdoor area. Um, and we're going to be doing 10 feet tall in the middle going down to eight and then we're doing how do I describe it at the 10 foot beam we're going to start the outdoor roof line from eight feet and it's going to go down to seven feet so there's going to be kind of like a I can't do it with one hand <laughs> but what do you call that roof line I don't know, a broken peaked roof, I guess. Broken peaked roof. <laughs> it's going to drop down two feet at the peak and uh, keep going. So we think that that should be tons of room for the animals. should be room for growth. There's going to be some storage area in there so we can keep all their food and whatever chicken supplies out of the dirt. And it's going to be nice and secure, have some good airflow in there. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Good girl, right? You're gonna leave the shovel alone. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Where are Okay, we've got some of the big boards on the side for support, and now we're gonna get the, the big beam that runs across there. We're gonna get that one up. Um, we left this post uh, solid. We didn't cut out the spot for the big beam to go in yet, so we're gonna do that now so we can make sure that it's uh, perfectly level. Uh, we didn't wanna make a mistake on the ground and then have not have enough beams. So yeah, we're gonna get that ready for the big beam to go up. Then we're gonna lift the beam up and we're trying really hard to get the rest of the posts in today. And it's already about four o'clock. So we are gonna get going on this.
second. We'll do it. We're gonna do it the exact same. Hold on. Let's go to there. Just hold it. All right, this is going up to 10 feet. So we're gonna try and get one side propped up and then Greg's gonna run around with the tall ladder and get the other side up while I try to hold it somehow. Don't know exactly how this is gonna go, but we don't have any other options. So we just gotta go for it. Welcome to my like everyday life. Get it. Fucking gloves don't fit me very well. There you go. Okay, so this is solid. I'm gonna have to push it your way just a little bit. Okay. That gets me there. This might not be the. We can just do this. We can just do this. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay, well. The consequences are pretty fucked up if we don't, because it's heavy. So oh. I want I want you just to hold your end. That is really heavy for me. Oh. Okay, I got you gotta go your way a little bit. Okay, right there. Okay. I'm gonna come switch spots with you, okay? Okay. Hold it. Okay. Now what? I need to screw that, but I can't get to it. Now the dilemma is how do we get the screws in there when the ladder is not tall enough? I don't know what Greg's doing yet, but getting her done. I'm going to get it. He's, I think he's going to stand on top of the ladder, which is not a great idea, but that's what we got to do. All right, I've got all of the posts filled in. Greg has got some blocking because like I mentioned, this 
middle beam here is 10 feet and then we're starting the outdoor area at eight feet. So he's got blocking uh, on the post and he's gone to get the last beam. So we're gonna put that up really quick before we call it a night and get some dinner in us and maybe a hot bath to relax our backs <laughs> and bedtime because now that it is late, light, so late in the evening, we are working late tonight. So looking forward to relaxing after this. This is like, fuck, I don't know. You want me to lift it up on the top of your ladder? No. Hold on. I'm ready. Oh my god. Why is this one so much heavier? Because it was on the outside. Holy fuck. You got it. Just keep going. What was it? Lip. Okay. Well done. <laughs> you gotta get it up there. Can you? Yeah. I'm sending this video to my coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I miss the freaking workout. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Katie. Come on, Katie. Ugh. Hold that, please. I need you to bring him my way, it's not gonna go. <laughs> all right, we got all of the main framing up. Feels good to have that done. This battery is about to die, so we are gonna wrap up the video here. One of our posts is a little bit too high, but it's gonna be an easy fix. All we have to do is take the beam off, it's one of the shorter ones, and lower the little notch that it sits in. So it'll be, just up there, super easy fix, but we're gonna do that tomorrow because it's time to go to bed. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.